Hi everyone, Soul here, and welcome to X Plane 11. Today we are at Salt Lake City International Airport for a first look at XP Realistic Pro version 2. Now, before I start, I wanted to mention that XP Realistic Pro version 2 was provided to Threshold Media as a review copy. Uh, so, this is a review copy. Uh, however, uh, I was not paid to say anything in this video, and this is my complete unbiased take on the plugin as a first look. So, we are at Salt Lake City, as I said, to have a first look at the plugin and see what it has to offer. We will be flying the Boeing 737-800 by Zebo, the very popular one that I'm sure you guys all know at this point. Uh, we are in the Delta livery, uh, and we are not doing a full flight though, we are just entering the pattern and then circling back to land in order to show you guys a brief look at some of the sounds uh, and movements that this plugin has to offer. So I stopped here um, because if we get too close, we're going to start to hear the GPU um, make some noises. Um, and I wanted to stop here to highlight the first thing that you will notice once you launch up XP Realistic Pro version 2, and that's these ambient airport noises. Uh, this is a really nice feature uh, that I quite enjoy, uh, and it adds some great ambience to the airport. So as I said, we're in the Boeing 737-800, and we're just going to be going into the pattern, uh, showing you guys what this plugin is all about and all of that. We're ready to go. Um, everything is aligned, uh, and all the fuel is loaded. Now all that is left to do is close the doors, start the APU, uh, disconnect um, the GPU, push back, and all of that stuff, so that we can get out of here and I can show you uh, a more in-depth look at this plugin, which I'm going to be doing during taxi in order to pass the time. Uh, so let's get to that, um, shall we? Um, I'm going to be quiet as we push back so that you can hear some of the noises, and then I will come back once we are done and talk about the plugin some more. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. All right, so we are now ready to head to the runway for takeoff. So I'm just going to release the parking brake and put a little bit of power in so we can get moving. So as we taxi and I explain some of the things that XP Realistic Pro version 2 has to offer, uh, you will probably notice um, some of the head shaking that is going on uh, as the airplane interacts with the taxiway uh, and also some of the sounds that accompany it as well. So uh, let's take a look at XP Realistic Pro version 2. So it's in your plugins um, directory, I think that's what it's called. Um, and then once you highlight your mouse over it, you have the option to disable it, enable it, uh, and go to the control panel. So once you go into the control panel, uh, then there is there are four headers. There's profile, settings, and about. So let's head to oh and effects as well. So let's head to profile first. Uh, so profile has the active profile. In this case, we're flying uh, the 4K resolution. Uh, Zebo, so we have the Boeing 738 underscore 4K. Uh, that's our active profile. And then there's the master switch for that profile as well. Uh, and then the ability to reset it to default. There's some default settings that are applied uh, as soon as you enter um, XP Realistic Pro version 2. And if you toggle some of them off um, and you want to go back, then you can just reset. 
Um, but something I really like is the ability to copy from a profile. So if, for instance, you set one profile that you use for all your airliners, uh, you can just copy that over uh, whenever you start a new flight in a plane that you haven't flown uh, with XP Realistic Pro before. There's also the settings, uh, which has multi-monitor, freeze mode, the master volume, and the visual offsets. Uh, the visual offsets are directly tied into X-Plane's camera system, uh, which you can find in the main settings, so this is just another place you can do it. And then there's the About section, which shows the version number, allows you to open up the manual, visit the official website, the forum, the Facebook page, or contact um, the developers if you are having any issues. But of course, the thing that we are all waiting for is the effects area. Uh, and this is where all of the effects for uh, XP Realistic Pro version 2 are. So there are a number of them. They are all listed in alphabetical order. Uh, and I like to think of these effects as having uh, three different, as, as there being three different types of effects. So I like to think of it as the sound only, the movement only, and then both. So it has sound and movement. So, for instance, airframe wind is an example of sound only. Um, when you click on it, you have the option to uh, disable it, enable it, preview, which we'll get to in a moment, and then sound. So you can set the sound level, or you can also choose between which wind you want to use. So in this case, we're using wind 5. And then there's also the option uh, for solely movement. So uh, a good example of this, I believe, is, bear with me for a second, let's see, I had a second ago, aha, engine vibration, engine vibration is a good example of a solely movement driven um, effect for XP Realistic Pro, uh, and right here you can just see the acceleration and the stable that and you have the ability to talk about here if you would like to and then as of course as I mentioned the last one is the both so there's movement and sound that goes along with this and this just combines the, the two things that I just mentioned however some of the options here some of the effects will have um, the ability for you to press preview and then you can change the simulated values that make um, you can change the, the how much these values affect the noise. So right now they're both at 50. And you'll notice that uh, the sound um, is coming in and the airplane is starting to shake. Uh, and that is a preview of what it will uh, look like once you actually have the preset active. So that gives you a really good choice, uh, a really good way to see whether or not you actually want an effect to be applied. So we're going to stop at the gate, and I'm uh, at the gate. We're going to stop before we enter the runway, and I'm going to mention uh, just one more thing. So first of all, the preview option is not available for every single thing here. Um, it really uh, depends. Like I believe brakes. No, brakes does. Um, wow, I'm just not having luck today. There we go. Uh, airport ambience does not have a preview um, there. Um, Another great thing as well uh, that I forgot to mention is if you are confused as to what any of this stuff means, so let's say you don't know what the master switch does, um, you can hover over it and it will tell you exactly what it does so that you're never confused. So now we're about ready to go. I have the heading bug set to a about the direction of the runway. Uh, we're going to line up on the runway and then take off, enter the pattern, and then come in for landing. I'm going to be mostly quiet uh, for this whole process, and then I will talk to you guys again once we get onto the ground.
80 knots. Positive rate. One thousand. Thousand feet stabilized, Mr. Perch altitude set. Three hundred. 
and gentlemen, please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the captain has parked the aircraft at the gate and turned off the seatbelt sign. All right, so that was a quick circuit around Salt Lake. Obviously not the prettiest approach, nor the prettiest landing, uh, but um, actually, uh, I promise this is not an excuse, that uh, the landing was actually intentional, uh, because I was trying to get you guys to be able to hear the uh, touchdown sounds. Um, however, me being off the center line is no excuse. <laughs> that was completely on me. Um, so some of the sounds that you could hear, you could hear the flaps uh, going out, you could see the head shake that was happening from that, um, and then you could also hear um, the gear coming out and all sorts of sounds like that. So really, really great and really add, adds a bunch of realism to your flight. Um, in addition to like all these sounds that are playing uh, in the cabin right now, uh, this plugin is really, really great for all you audiophiles or visual fanatics that really want to improve your X-Plane experience and make it look and sound much better. So, as I said, apologies for uh, the rocky flying, uh, but this has been a first look at XP Realistic Pro version 2. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next first look video.